the syllabus regarding unit 4 transducer is what is the definition of transducer classification of transducers advantages of electrical transducers characteristics and choice of transducers after that principle of operation of various types of transducers resistive inductive capacitive transducers lvdt strain gauge and various principle of operation of uh, gauge factor thermistors strain gauge and its gauge factor thermistors thermocouples synchros piezoelectric transducers and photovoltaic cells and photodiodes this is the syllabus regarding transducers now we go for what is the main characteristics required for a electrical transducers how to choose what are the how to choose what are the parameters to select a transducers now we go for what are the various factors to be considered while selecting a transducer the most important factors what are the factors to be considered while selecting a transducer it should have high input impedance and low output impedance what is this high input impedance if you go for operational amplifier what is that high input impedance for that also it is also output impedance will be low if a transducer have low input impedance a loading effect may be takes place to avoid loading effect every transducer will be selected according to the input impedance should be high and output impedance should be low to avoid loading effect this is one of the factor it should have high input impedance and low output impedance and the second one is it should have good resolution over its entire selected range it should have good resolution for a small change in speed it should represent the speed accurately that means high resolution is required next one is it must be highly sensitive to desired signal and insensitive to unwanted signal that means sensitivity should be high for a transducer it should be highly sensitive for desired signal and insensitive for unwanted signal insensitive for unwanted signal that means high sensitivity is required for a transducer while selecting and another choice is choice of transducer is preferably smaller in size it should be low in size smaller in size if it is bigger in size we can't use somewhere some applications if you go for motors or if you go for any process conditions if you go for industries the space required for transducers are very small that is smaller in size is required it should be able to work in corrosive environment also it should be able to work in corrosive environment also because due to in in industries due to temperature due to heat if any corrosion happens the sensor may be damages or transducer may be damages it won't be affect hence corrosive environment it should be able to work it should be able to withstand pressure shocks vibrations etc in industries the motors or the machineries are working they are producing vibrations it should be withstand it should be able to withstand for temperatures pressures and shocks and vibrations etc and another factor should be considered is it must have high degree of accuracy and repeatability that is resolution accuracy should be high and repeatability should be high these are the some important characteristics required for a selecting a transducer for a good transducer and while selected that it should be free from errors it should be free from errors the transducer circuit have overload protection so that it would withstand overloads hence what are the requirements for a good transducer is smaller in size and weight also 
high sensitivity, high resolution, high accuracy and low cost. Ability to withstand environmental conditions and low cost. These are the various requirements for a transducers.